On voyages to Antarctica, it's not an uncommon request to please bring back a penguin. We are heading to Antarctica in very challenging conditions. We're going to the ends of the world for just one purpose, a penguin. We are really excited about this trip. We are on our way deep, deep south, south of the Antarctic Circle on a very special mission. This is where only the finest penguins survive. And we are hoping to complete this mission and bring one back with us. The seas are rough. We've struggled. People are getting sick all over the place. But we are going to persevere and bring this penguin back. Gene Straps, Gentoos and Adelis look very similar, have very similar size and nevertheless they occupy very different ecological niches. These are Gentoos. They're the gentlest, nicest penguins. They're not so feisty like the Chin Straps and Adelis. There are some sub-adults that really aren't breeding. And so we just have to identify those. There are two of them standing together right here. These are non-breeding sub-adults. It would be best to pick one of them because they're not actually breeding and we won't affect the success of the colony. And they're young, so they're impressionable. So I think it would be ideal to take one of these home. The male, particularly the Gen 2 penguins, exhibit this pebble stealing and pebble placement behavior, constantly reminding their mate that I'm in it for the long haul. Here, look at I brought you this stone. These are all fascinating aspects, uh, glimpses into these animals' lives that we're fortunate enough to see at this time. We have a very uh, extensive interview process for any uh, prospective Gen 2 penguin parents. We're able to weed through people who would not be quite suited to have a swimming pool in their backyard filled with krill. That is one of the main requirements of adopting Gen 2s. So if they're not up for that, then this wouldn't be a good fit for them. I'm a little concerned about your plan to bring home a penguin. I think that photos would be a better option. Jamais, em tempo algum, never ever in your wildest dreams adopt a penguin. You know what we will look for? Penguins, Adelis, one of the true Antarctic penguins. We're here at Red Rock Ridge, and it's a big Adelie colony, or quite big Adelie colony. You can't come all this way and just grab a penguin. That would be ridiculous. This is using artificial intelligence to find the perfect penguin. So I'm actually using the drone to double check the extent of the colony. But what I'll do here is trace the outline of the colony and then fly a grid. What we're trying to do is survey all of them and look for a penguin that meets very specific parameters, such as looking like a penguin and probably less prone to shitting itself, and we can tell that from the heat signature. We will also look for a penguin that isn't guarded by skewers, because um, I'm scared of skewers. You only have to look at them, actually, don't you? I mean, they are aesthetically such a beautiful animal. I mean, their eyes are so pretty, and they are small and cuddly. This is everybody's dream of a cuddly penguin. Big penguins, small penguins. Okay, that one looks good. And um, that one, there's one. That could be one. There's another one. There, there, in amongst, you see that one in amongst the other penguins? That one, that's a good penguin. That one, I like that, yeah. Generally, the eggs will hatch here on the continent. And once they are a bit reared by their biological parents, that's when the adoption process starts and they start making their way north. And out of hundreds of applicants, your application has been approved. I absolutely condone the adoption of penguins. Keep it in the bathtub at all times. 
Adelie penguins were actually named early, early on on the Dumont de Ville expedition, named after his wife, Adele. Adele penguins, what an affectionate title. I think Adele penguins are really the iconic brush-tailed penguin species. They truly represent the Antarctic. Thank you.